Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I'm Ima Rafaya, and we're coming to you again with greetings from the daughters here at Teshua Community. We're going to give you just a short briefing of some of the things that we do here at Teshua Community. And one of the things that we do together is we share scripture one with another to encourage each other in this walk. Yes, I'm the elder, but we're going to start with my daughter first, a whole Sakia, hallelujah, and she has the baby with her, but she's with child too, seven months, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh Baruch, you all. As Ima said, I am a whole Sakia. I'm sitting here with Teshua's baby, Kefra, and my scripture today is coming from Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, being confident of this very thing, that he, Yahweh, which hath begun a tough work in you, will perform it unto the day of Yahshua HaMashiach. And we told Yahweh for that scripture because it's one of, the, one of the scriptures that I hang on to. Because Yahweh, whatever he's begun in me, I know each day he's going to perform it unto the day of Yahshua HaMashiach. And we told her Yahweh for that. And we also told her Yahweh for our Ema that's um, actually with us. And also we told her Yahweh for little Kefra. Till she was baby. Shalom, shalom. All right, daughters. I have a scripture verse I want to share with you this morning. But it's also for me first. Hallelujah. And we're coming from Tehillim Psalms 119, reading verses 33 through 40. It says, Teach me, O Yah, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it until the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your Torah. Yes, I shall observe it with my whole life. Make me to go in the path of your commandments, for therein do I delight. So it's telling us right here we should take great delight in keeping the commandments of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Incline my love unto your testimonies and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity and quicken you me in your way. Hallelujah. Establish your word unto thy servant who is devoted to your fear. Turn away my reproach which I fear for thy judgments are tough. Behold, I have longed after your precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Hallelujah. 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 And there were two words from the scripture verse that I grabbed hold to, and it's observe and devoted. And daughters, we must observe the commandments and the statutes of Almighty Yah. Yes. And when you observe, you're going to watch, to adhere to, follow, keep, uh, and guard. You want to guard and protect the Torah truth. Yes. No matter what no one says, daughters. Moshe went into the Shemayans, I'm sorry, into the mountaintop to meet with Almighty Yah. He gave him those commandments and he said, give them to the people that you keep, you protect. Yes. You let no one persuade you to do anything different. Hallelujah. 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 And the statues of Almighty Yah would teach you how to keep the commandments of Almighty Yah. Yes. Devoted, it means to dedicate, consecrate, to be loving, loyal, and faithful. We must be faithful to Almighty Yah as Yahshua is to us. Hallelujah. Every day of our lives is so important that we observe and we devote our time unto Almighty Yah. We must be serious minded about everything we do when it comes to Almighty Yah. Yes. I want to love him with all of my being. And we need someone to teach. That's why he gives us shepherds at his own lab to teach and to guide us on this journey. There is no other journey that we should be taking but the one that prepares us for death. Yes. When we die, whatever state you're in, that's how you should die, daughters. Yes. So we should always govern our ruah at all times. We must take our walk with Almighty Yah seriously. Yes. It is as serious as death. True. Because once you die, you can't get it right in the grave. You must get it right before you go to the grave. That's true. So we told Yah for my daughter being with me this morning. We decided yeah. to come outside a little bit. 
Hallelujah. And Kiffer with us this morning. So we told y'all for all things. Our daughter on the other side of us is videotaping us. We'll come back later to share a little walk that she and I shall take. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Have an excellent, excellent y'all. Shalom, shalom. Say Shalom, this is Teshua's baby, her oldest brother, Asher. Shalom. How are you, Asher? Tough. Do you have a scripture you want to quote for the camera? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's hear it. It's coming from Psalms 122, verse 2. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the bed of Yahweh. Very tough. Hallelujah. Yahweh Baruch. And Yahweh Baruch you, Kefra. Say Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, daughters of Tazayan. Welcome back to Teshua Community. My daughter and I was just out here taking a stroll, and Rayak has planted us some greens here. We have romaine and kale. Hallelujah. And we just told y'all for the faithfulness of the Yaki. Yes. Hallelujah. It's not ready to pick as yet. We have some in the back of us that we're gonna pick, and I shall show you how to prepare these greens. Hallelujah, I might add some dumplings with that too. That sounds tough, Emma, that really Hallelujah. <laughs> so this is my daughter, Shekinah. Shalom. Hallelujah. Thank you. And can I, they take great delight in the food yes. that we prepare here. She's yes. one of the cooks also. Hallelujah. And daughters, listen, we do everything together. We're one big family. Yes. We need each other on this walk, hallelujah. So if you're out there by yourself, you need a family. And yeah, Hallelujah. we do everything together. Like I said, we birth our babies at home. Yes, we do. So strange hands are not on our children. No. We raise our own food. Rayak is the one that said with a green thumb, he has a green thumb. <laughs> and we just take great delight. We come out here and we harvest it ourselves. But we don't need our king for that. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But we told y'all for everything he's done for us in this place. And the next time I, you will see me, I'm going to show you the children's on beach. They have a little sandbox that Rayak built, but it's the on beach because we don't have water around it. But it's their on beach. Totally so awesome. have a wonderful day. Again, we'll see you again soon. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh Baruch.